Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about Greeback normal form, that is GNF. A context-free grammar is in GNF if its productions are of form A derives A alpha, where this small a is a terminal and alpha is either a string of variables or an empty string. For example, see these productions as derives A, A, B, as derives B, B, A, C, A derives A, B derives B, C derives C, C. These all productions are in GNF. Whereas these two productions a derives A, B, C, A and B derives C, A, A are not in GNF. Now, every context-free language L which doesn't contain empty string can be generated by a grammar whose productions are in GNF. So, let G be the grammar of this language L, which doesn't contain empty string. Now, we have to convert the grammar G into GNF without affecting its language. So, first step is, First, we will convert the grammar G into Chomsky normal form in CNF. First, we will convert the grammar G into CNF and we will rename the variables as A1, A2, A3, A4 up to AN. And A1 will be the start symbol right after after renaming the variables of grammar g modify the grammar g in such a way that it's uh, each production is either in this form ai derives a gamma or in this form ai derives aj gamma where j is greater than i now for this to modify the grammar in this way what will we do? We will proceed from variable a1 to a n, right? And check their productions. Now suppose productions for variables a1, a2, a3 up to a m minus 1 satisfy this condition. But for variable a m, there is a production a m derives a j gamma, where j is less than m then what will we do we will apply substitution rule then after applying substitution rules we will keep on applying this substitution rule until we get a production in the form AM derives AP gamma, right, where P is greater than equal to M. When P is greater than M, it means it is in required form, it is satisfying the condition. But when P is equal to M, it means there is left recursion. Now here we have to remove left recursion from this production. So what will we do? We will introduce a new variable bn in grammar g and remove the left recursion from this production. After completing step 2, we will get at last the highest number 
variable a n having productions of the form a n derives a comma. It means all the productions of variable a n will be in g n f. So what will we do now? We will start from variable a n minus 1 and proceed to variable a1 by making their productions in GNF by using substitution rule. After this, what will we do? In step 4, the variables bi which were introduced when we removed left recursion from the production of variables ai. Their productions should also be in GNF. To make their productions in GNF, we will use substitution rule. It would be more clear after this example. Suppose there is some grammar whose productions are these. These are the productions of some grammar. Now, what we have to do, we have to convert them into GNF without affecting the language of grammar G. First of all, what we have to do, we have to make the productions of grammar in Chomsky normal form. But these productions are already in Chomsky normal form. So first of all, what will we do? We will rename the variables of this grammar G as a1, a2, a3, a4 up to an if there are n variables, right? And a start symbol s will be renamed as a1. So here s is renamed as a1, variable a is renamed as a2, variable b is renamed as a3. Now these productions will become a1 derives a2, a3, a2 derives a3, a1, a2 derives a, a3 derives a1, a2, a3 derives b. After renaming the variables, what we have to do? We have to modify the grammar so that its productions are in the form ai derives aj gamma where j is greater than i or in form ai derives a gamma now see this production a3 derives a1 a2 it is not satisfying the condition so here we will use substitution rule we will replace this production by the productions which is obtained by replacing this variable a1 by the string which appears right hand side of the production of the variable a1 right so a1 will be replaced by a2 a3 so the productions which we get after replacing after replacing a1 by a2 a3 is this one a3 derives a2 a3 a2 now again this production doesn't satisfy this condition right so again this production will be replaced in grammar G by the productions which are obtained by replacing this variable a2 by the string which appears right hand side of the production of the variable a2 so by applying substitution rule we will get these productions a3 derives a a3 a2 
a3 derives a3 a1 a3 a2 now we have replaced this production a3 derives a1 a2 by these productions in grammar g it means this productions this production a3 derives a1 a2 has been removed from grammar g in place of that we have these two productions a3 derives a a3 a2 a3 derives a3 a1 a3 a2 now this production a3 derives a a3 a2 is in required form but this production a3 derives a3 a1 a3 a2 is not in required form right it has left recursion so it should be removed now we have these productions for variable a3 this production a3 derives a3 a1 a3 a2 has left recursion now we will introduce a new variable b3 in grammar g and eliminate left left recursion we will replace this production by these production a3 derives a a3 a2 b3 a3 derives b b3 a3 derives a a3 a2 a3 derives b and b3 derives a1 a3 a2 b3 b3 derives a1 a3 a2 right so this production is replaced by these productions in grammar g now in grammar g we have these productions these productions of a3 are in gnf a2 derives a it is also in gnf but this production a1 derives a2 a3 and this production a2 derives a3 a1 they are not in gnf now these productions b3 derives a1 a3 a2 b3 and b3 derives a1 a3 a2 they are also not in gnf so what will we do we will proceed from a2 to a1 right and make their productions in gnf by substitution rule now see this production of a2 a2 derives a3 a1 it is not in gnf so what will we do we will apply substitution rule so what will we do we will replace a3 by the string which appears at the right hand side of the production of variable a3 right now a3 has these productions right so after replacing a3 by the right hand side strings of production of variable a3 we will get these productions for variable a2 so this production will be removed and these productions will be added to grammar g that is a2 derives a a3 a2 b3 a1 a2 derives b b3 a1 a2 derives a a3 a2 a1 a2 derives b a1 a2 derives a now see these all productions are in gnf now see this production a1 derives a2 a3 it is also not in gnf so again we will apply substitution rule and replace and uh, we will replace this production by the productions which are obtained by replacing this variable a2 by the strings which appear at the right hand side of the productions of variable a2 so after applying substitution rule we will get these productions for variable a1 which are in which all are in gnf right 
Now see the productions of B3. They are not in GNF. First of all, see this production. B3 derives A1, A3, A2, B3. It is not in GNF. So again, we will apply substitution rule. We will replace this production. B3 derives A1, A3, A2, B3. We will replace this production by the productions which are obtained by replacing the variable a1 by the string which appears at the right hand side of the productions of variable a1 so we will get these productions right so this product so we will replace this production by these productions in grammar it means this production will be removed and these productions will be added in grammar. Now see this production of P3. It is the last production which is not in GNF. So what will we do? We will replace this production in grammar G by the productions which are obtained by replacing the variable A1 in this production by the strings which appear at the right hand side of the production of variable a1 so we will get these productions so from grammar we will remove this production and add these productions in place of this production so see now all productions of grammar are in GNF right Thank you very much.